वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11.9 सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 11 दैट इज एनर्जी मेथड फ्रॉम बुक्स मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल बाय बेरेन जॉनसन सो लेट्स मूव एंड व्हाट द स्टेटमेंट टेल्स अस यूजिंग ई इज इक्वल टू 29 इनटू 10 रेस्ट पावर 6 psi डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेन ऑफ स्ट्रेन एनर्जी ऑफ द स्टील रॉड ए बी सी व्हेन पी इज 8 किप्स एंड करस्पोंडिंग स्ट्रेन एनर्जी density in portion b a b and b c of the rod so you can see this is a b rod and this is b c rod that is acted upon by a load of p the length is 3 feet of b c while a b is length of 2 feet the diameter of b c is 3 by 4 inch and diameter of a b is 5 by 8 inch so we will write the given data i have already written this so e for the steel is 29 into 10 to the power 6 psi load is 8 kips diameter of bc is 3 by 4 while ab is 5 by 8 the length of bc is 3 feet which in term of inch is 36 inch and length of ab is 2 feet which in term of inch is 24 inch so in first part we have been asked to find the strain energy of rod that is capital u while in part b we have asked to find the strain energy density of portion ab and bc which is ub uab and ubc so let's start with the solution first uh, we know that uh, um, uh, strain energy which is capital u is equal to strain energy density into volume but we do not know the strain energy density of each portion so first we will find uab and ubc okay now we will write the formulas that will be used in this so area of this circular rod is equal to pi by 4 d square now we know that volume of this circular rod is equal to area into each length and we also know that stress is equal to load per unit area also strain energy density is equal to sigma square over 2e and at last we will calculate strain energy density by using formula u into capital v so what we will do is that we will formulate a table in which i will write each and every data so let's start so I, here i will write portion now we have two portion the first portion is ab while second portion is bc here i will write uh, the diameter which in inch and diameter of rod ab is 5 by 8 inch so 5 by 8 inch is equal to 0.625 inch similarly diameter of bc is 3 by 4 inch which in decimal point it is 0.75 inch okay length length is we will define it in inch so length of uh, ab is 24 inch that is given above 24 inch and length of bc is 36 inch now what will be the area so i will write it here or i should remove this area so what will be the area so area will be equal to pi by 4 and d is 0.625 whole square and that will give you 0. 3608 similarly you can also find the area of bc which is pi by 4 into 0.75 whole square and that will give you 0.4418 now we will find volume what will be the volume of ab so area into length will give you the volume so when you multiply 24 with 0.30 3608 so you will get volume is equal to 7.363 and the unit will be cubic inch now what will be the volume of bc so length of bc into area of bc will give you the volume so when you multiply it you will get 15.904 cubic inch now stress in each rod that is ksi 
unit will be KSI. So P divided by area. So P is given as uh, 8 kips. So when you divide P by this area of rod AB, so you will get stress is 26.08 KSI. Similarly, the load P when divided by area of rod BC, so you will get the stress in rod Yes, in rod A B, sorry, uh, in rod B C. P divided by area of B C, so you will get eighteen point one one ksi. Now, what will be the strain energy density? So that is small u, and the unit will be into inch k per inch cubic inch. Okay. So we will use this formula. So you have to take the square of this uh, stress divided by 2 into E. E is also given as 29 into 10 to the power 6 PSI. So just put, uh, I will put uh, 26.08 whole square divided by 2 into 29.29 into 10 to the power uh, 3 so it will give you 11.72 into 10 to the power minus 3. Similarly, you can put stress is 18.18 for the portion BC clear and you will get the strain energy density is equal to 5.65 into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. Now, what will be the strain energy for rod AB? So, you have this formula U into V. So, you can just multiply this value with this V. Clear? So, you will get the total strain energy and it will be 86.32 into 10 to the power minus 3. And same is the case. Uh, strain energy when multiply with the volume will give you the total strain energy in rod BC. So when you multiply it will give you 89.92 into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. Now what we have been asked in part A, you have been asked to find U for strain energy for rod ABC. So this strain energy for rod ABC is equal to U of AB plus U of BC. Now U of AB is this one, 86.32 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus U of BC which is 89.92 into 10 to the power minus 3. So when you calculate it, you will get total strain in a uh, total strain energy for rod ABC comes out to be 176.2 unit will be inch into one uh, sorry 176.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 and the unit will be inch into kips. R that is equal to 176.2 into inch into pound. So this is the answer of our first part. Now we will move towards second part. In second part we have been asked in AB what will be the strain energy density. So UAB is equal to you can see this is the value. 11 point this is the value so i will write it 11.72 into 10 to the power minus 3 inch into k per cubic inch or in pounds it will be 11.72 into inch pound per cubic inch now what is strain energy density of rod bc and that is equal to this value this value so 5.65 i will write in bc ubc 5.16 tens power minus 3 inch 
into kips per cubic inch or that is 5.6 into 10 to the power minus 3 inch into pound per cubic inch so this is our this is the answer of our uh, problem number 11 dash 9 or 11.9 i hope you have enjoyed this video and again if you like my video then subscribe my channel and keep watching the videos thank you